Hello, replay viewers. If you were very lucky, you saw my new boat come in last night, but the scope got interrupted, so I had to delete it. So I thought I'd give you a short tour of the new boat before I start. Well, actually, I've already started taking things off, uh, but I realized this is the time to show you my, my new spot. I'll be living on this boat sometime next month. But there's a lot of things to take off and a number of things to put on. So it's a sweet boat. It has, it has two jibs, or a jib and a Yankee as they call it. Hi, Roddy. I hope no one sends me a text message and cuts off the audio. I had a great crew. Uh, I'll go, we'll go back to the stern. I had a great crew deliver it. It took them four days. They were a little slow in the morning to get started. If you know your uh, Scottish lullabies, here's the name. I'm not changing the name. It's take, it would take too much time. So, very small cockpit back here. Yeah, and a lot of this stuff, like this piece here, with the solar panels is coming off. Hi guys. No, there's no breaking of bottles. This is not a brand new boat. It's a used boat. This thing for a life raft is coming off. There's a huge list of things that are, are annoyances that I have no use for. I've already started to take a few things off. Here's a... Thank you, Divine. Here's one thing that's come off. I have no use for a ladder. Uh, I don't even know how this ladder was attached. There's no place on the side of the boat. No, I'm not... Well, I'm going to try to keep the shade. Um, I'm going to take these solar panels off because I cannot stand behind the wheel and have something over my head the whole time. That, it would drive me... It, it's already driving me crazy. I've only moved the boat. Uh, I've only operated this boat for 10 minutes. I have to be... I just have to be able to look up. This is a 34-foot uh, sailboat. Yeah, there's a motor. Pretty strong motor. And you can see all these... Uh, there's all these... Yeah, well, you know, that's the thing. Is that I have an 8-foot dinghy. And the only place I could put it is up here. Uh, but it has to somehow get through these wires, which don't come off uh, without a lot of trouble. So I could change the... Uh, yeah, I'll go back to the back of it. It's a Yanmar. I could change the ends of these wires to be clips at some difficulty. Yeah, I'm going, to, I'm going inside. We're doing the outside first. Look at this mammoth uh, winch. Uh, one thing I don't need are, are two, two anchors tangled up with each other. That's a bit, uh, that's a bit crazy. So there's all changes, and I, I don't know how much energy I have. It seems a bit overwhelming. Uh, one annoying thing is you step in, and then you have this tangle of, of stuff under underfoot. So I have to sort of sort that out. I've already pushed back this Dodger, so I can move around a little easier. And you can see there's some boat cushions that are kind of in the way. Um, I promised to show you the name and I forgot, but this 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 monstrosity, this wheel's too big, so you can't go past without climbing over. And this thing's right in your face, so that's coming out. A lot of changes, so we'll go inside. Oh, this is one of the neat features of this kind of boat. This is over the engine, and you undo those four four things, and the whole floor comes up. So you get right on top of it really easily. I've already started a bit of a deconstruction in here. One thing at a time is the right idea. So my friends who delivered the boat left a, behind a few odds and ends. I've been cleaning out underneath the sink. So there's some things I'm keeping. Rubber gloves are probably a good idea. But you can see it's, it's a fairly new boat, 1994. So it looks, it looks very nice inside. I'm already uh, already attacking this table. I'm taking that table out. This is going to be my couch over here. And the table's in the way. This heater is going to be taken out because that's where I'm going to sit on my couch. It's a kind of an eyesore too. I mean, who wants that ugly thing? Looking looking at that all the time. In this corner, I don't know what I have. 
Yeah, good morning, Greg. There's seven sails stuffed in here, which I'll have to sort out. I'll show you where I sleep. This is the little navigation area. What's in here? Oh my goodness. A lot of, uh, I don't know what. Yeah, this, this, well, this boat is fitted, Mindy. This boat is fitted about, yes, full-time liveaboard, eventually, with uh, a lot of wood. Someone was asking about the bed. This is what it looks like today. I'm going to have to measure a little echo in here. Oh, sunshine coming in from above. So, nice and clean up here. Underneath here is a, is a water tank right there. And then this thing lifts up and then you can get at some storage space. Oh, I have to watch where I step. I'm not used to this boat. All right. Open this up. Here's where you do your thing. Uh, I have to remember to close some of these hatches. I'm looking for, I think this, uh, yeah, that sink thing could be a shower. Um, I don't think I'd want to use a shower in this little space. I'd rather shower outside. So there you go, my new little boat. Before alterations, it's going to look a lot different by the time I've finished. Make it a lot more livable than, than crowded. So I, have a, I already have a floor panel up. That's how you get at the bolts for this, this metal thing on the table. The engine's in here somewhere. Here's, a, here's an oven and a stove. The, uh, the sink has pressure water, but I, I'm going to use the foot, this foot pump also. Thank you, Vicky. Also operates the water. I don't know how most of these things work. It'll take a lot of sorting out. One thing at a, whoever said one thing at a time was very, very smart. So right now it's a bit of a watch your step as you climb around. There's so many things to trip on. So if ever wanted to see the name, here's the name again. Hopefully the connection's better. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger. Uh, but it's also very narrow back here. This is 34 feet, Luke. This thing here in the back, Luke might have seen these. These are used when you're crossing, uh, doing long trips. It's a wind vane that connects to the steering wheel by some ropes. And it doesn't have its, its upper part is, is not hooked up right now. And that's the part that senses the wind direction. And if the wind changes, then this paddle is lowered. You lower the paddle into the water. And um, that's how you engage it. And it will steer, steer the wheel through the piece that's missing on the top and this, this piece that's in the water. So there you go. First look before I start hacking it up. And, yep, bigger motor. So I thought I'd give you a first look before I started hacking it up and the thing looks like a wreck before it comes together again. So I'll go up to the sunny, sunny side and, and scope out. There you go, the new little ship. No, this is Pacific Seacraft, whoever is making a good guess. Uh, same height, I have to check the specifications but I think the mast is, is a little taller. but I'm going to fit underneath the 54-foot bridge. Oh, thank you, Mindy. All right, everyone, thanks for checking in, and we'll see you next time.